Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk, and I'm back with another contest, ent contest entry. Um, this is going to be for Steve Carlson's contest, um, sort of talking about music that we discover via gifts, um, or however well, we discover music. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to mention is I'm going to plug an album that is one of his prizes, um, Blackfoot with the album Youth Power. Uh, this was one of the uh, Zamrock albums, um, sort of that um, garage rock, psych rock, hard rock that came out of Zambia in the 1970s. And so he's giving away, uh, I know one of the prizes is giving away a copy of this. If for some reason I should win, then I would go ahead and suggest to him that he passed that along to someone else. Um, so first uh, I'll talk about some music I got as a gift. I'm actually gonna go to CD land here. Um, and so I'm gonna show a couple of CDs that were given to me probably, this was probably 20 years ago by my uncle. So we have uh, Stan Getz and Joao Gilberto. Uh, it's the classic uh, Getz Gilberto album. Of course, it has the girl from Ipanema on it. And so I had sort of this fold-out CD. And then at the same time, he also gave me this uh, was probably a pretty recent album. Uh, this album came out in the year 2000. So this was probably pretty recent at the time it was given to me. Uh, but Bel Gilberto uh, Tanto Tempo uh, was the name of this album. Uh, she was, of course, the daughter of Joao Gilberto. Um, and so that got me into, I was pretty much sort of a snob for alternative and punk at the time, 20 years ago. Or, um, although it was still really several more years before I got into jazz and just music traditions from other parts of the world besides... Um, North America and the UK. Um, so wanted to mention those. Um, the next category, I'm going to show a couple of albums I discovered via members of the BC. I've only been around here a couple months, so these are both things I've picked up pretty recently. Um, so this is Car Seat Headrest. So this is um, Making a Door Less Open. Um, so this is their um, the 2020 album. Um, Will Toledo, um, kind of the main guy, uh, the main force behind this. Um, and I know this has been something that Richard at Calvin Wazoo um, has plugged in several videos. I'll stick a link down below um, so you can check out some of his videos on it. Um, then another discovery of mine, this came from Stephen Schnee, the CD junkie. Um, notice that I actually bought the non-compact disc version, so I did buy the vinyl. The Legal Matters Chapter 3, um, so this is kind of power pop, um, and definitely leaning more towards the pop part of power pop. It's probably a little bit more poppy than I usually get into, but he had talked about it on his channel, and um, I listened to it online. I thought it was pretty cool. So I got that. I'll link um, the video that um, he made that was talking about that album as well. And then finally, I'm going to get into a little bit of Bandcamp discoveries. That's probably a good place to discover really sort of your, um, your micro indies, your do-it-yourself sort of people. So I had made my own video um, a few weeks ago uh, plugging this two-piece band, uh, Nuances. Uh, I know there's an X in it, but you don't pronounce the X. Um, Never Seen, which is a five-song EP, uh, self-released. Came out in 2021. I think this is an edition of literally like 50 CDs. Um, and so um, good sort of um, inspired by alternative rock. Um, and then um, on their Bandcamp page, they had several suggestions of artists that they liked, and I checked some of them out. 
And then again, this is somebody I just recently made a video of, Erudite Stoner. Um, so this is basically a one-man show. Um, Matthias Noveus, who is a Brazilian guitarist, so it's kind of doomy um, in spots. Um, and so, um, and so, and I don't think I would have came across this if I hadn't come across that other band and checked out who they liked and who they were recommending. So that's going to be my entry in Steve's contest.